making our way to our seats as we begin this day of worship. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Indeed. Uh, I, I, I tell you, Ralph, I'm just looking so forward to this day. Turn with me, if you will, to uh, page 52 in our white folders. Page 52 in our white folders. My theme song, I Know Somebody's Listening. That just helps me pray even harder. Page 52 in our white songbook. Though a pilgrim, a stranger, a beggar I be, as here I go traveling on. Though the dearest of friends will not listen to me and chide me for trusting God's son. Though the world in its folly, its sin and its shame, neglect fully turns me away i still have my savior oh praise his sweet name because he hears everything that i say yes i know somebody's listening and hears everything that i say yes i know somebody answer Every prayer that I secretly pray, and I know somebody loves me and never will turn me away. Tis Jesus, Savior of Mount Calvary, and he hears everything that I say. Well, through the troubles and trials and darkest of night, he speaks and I hear his kind voice. Through darkness he giveth me comfort and light. He keeps me in him I rejoice. What more could I ask when the shadows grow dim and kindred and loved ones betrayed? What more could I cherish than Jesus, the friend who hears everything that I say? Yes, I know somebody's listening and hears everything that I say. And I know somebody answer every prayer that I secretly pray and I know somebody loves me and never will turn me away tis Jesus the Savior of Mount Calvary and he hears everything that I say well let the world amble on like the Babylon of old with beauty and charm to allure. My hope in the heavenly treasure untold is far more exceeding and sure. My Redeemer will answer my sad, feeble plea and guide me each hour of the day. A wonderful, wonderful Savior is he who hears everything that I say. And I know somebody's listening and hears everything that I say. And I know somebody answer. Every prayer that I secretly pray, and I know somebody loves me and never will turn me away. Tis Jesus, Savior of Mount Calvary, and he hears everything that I say. Amen. 
Isn't it good to know that he's listening? Oh, uh, even when you just say, mm, he know what that means. Oh, he's a good God. Turn with me, if you will, to page 484 in our read song books. 484. Trials dark on every hand, and we cannot understand all the ways that God will lead us to that blessed and promised land. But he'll guide us with his eye, and we'll follow till we die, and we'll understand it better by and by, singing by and by, oh, when the morning come, telling you all the saints of God are gathering, and we will tell the story how we overcome and we'll understand it better by and by. We are often destitute of the things that life demands, want of shelter and of food, thirsty hills and barren land, but we're trusting in the Lord. And according to his word, we will understand it better by and by, singing by and by, oh, when the morning comes, telling you all the saints of God are gathering and we will tell the story how we overcome and we'll understand it better by and by. Temptation, hidden snares often take us unaware and our hearts are made to bleed. For each thoughtless word or deed, and we wonder why the test when we try to do our best, but we'll understand it better by and by, singing by and by, oh, when. Telling you all the saints of God are gathering and we will tell the story how we overcome but we'll understand it better by and by. Will is by and by. By and by, when the morning come, when the morning come, all the saints of God, come on, all the saints of God will be gathering home, will be gathering home. We will tell the story, we will tell the story how we overcome. Uh, how we overcome, uh, understand it better, uh, understand it better, understand it better by and by. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Scripture this morning is coming from Hebrew, the first chapter, verses 1 through 4. Hebrew 1, 1 through 4. God, who at sundry's time and in divers manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world, who being the brightness of his glory 
and the express image of his person and upholds all things yes. by the word of his power. When he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Yes. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. Now we have a word of prayer with Brother Thompson. Let us all pray. Our God and Father who art in heaven, hallowed be that most humble and that most precious name of yours. Now, Father, here we come again to fear your children with our head bowed and indeed our hearts are humble. It's my prayer, dear God, that all that come today have come just as humble as they know how to worship you and worship thee in spirit and in truth. I thank you, loving Father, for your loving angels that stood watched over us last night while it was slept and while it was slumbered. This morning, Father, you touched us and you waked us once again with that everlasting flame of love. Enable us to rise from our bedside, Father, to see the stars of a brand new day. Dear Father, we're so thankful for your word, which we read so beautifully into our hearing by thy servant. Which our Father, the lamp unto our feet and the light along our pathway. But most of all, this morning, Father, we thank you for Jesus, who left the coast of glory and came down here to this lowland of Sodom. Laid out your unknown God, the where he hung, suffered, bled, and died on the tree of the cross, that we through his death and suffering may not perish, but that we may have life and that we may have it everlasting. Now, Father, we're going to Father in prayer this morning. We want to take a moment to take a little peek back on this year that had just passed and gone. There were many more of our friends and loved ones that were here with us at this time before. But somewhere a long way, Father, had been called in this time side of life. But those of us, our Heavenly Father, that are yet here, we thank you. I realize that it's nothing that I or we have done so good because that we're here. Perhaps if we aren't be honest with ourselves, we must confess, Father, that we haven't always walked in straight and narrow path. But perhaps you look down upon many of us, Father, with our pity and saw that many of us weren't even fit to die. But look what you've done. You're lifting out that but burden of prayer of our lives, Father, for a few days long. And that we should be so grateful for. Father, we pray this morning for those that are sick among us, those that are in the believers, we are, Father. Father, we extra strength upon them for the weak and to build them up, dear Lord, where they've been torn down. Father, we ask a special blessing this morning upon the Span family, one of our brothers who have labored for the cross for many years, but has now been called in this time side of life. Father, we just pray that everything will be found faithful when we stand before you in that day of judgment. Dear Lord, I ask for a special blessing this morning upon each and every home that is represented here today. I ask you, Father, if you would just be so kind to continue to bless each member one by one and continue to bestow us those beautiful blessings upon us in the future, as you have, dear God, so be sweetly in the past. Our Father, we pray this morning for the leaders of our country. We pray, our Heavenly Father, that some way they can find and have a little bit more Christ in their life. I believe this will be a better world for all of us to live. And I realize, Father, that the way things are going sometimes, it's hard for us to imagine sometimes. But I'm so thankful that we always have that Savior uh, that we can always put our arms around, always put our faith in him, and I tell you, everything will be all right. Father, we pray this morning for the speaker of our, as he get prepared to come and proclaim us a portion of our word. We pray, loving Father, you will continue to crown his head with wisdom and with knowledge, and that he may continue to preach those things what thus said the Lord. And, Father, if there be one today on the sound of my voice, they know not be in the pardon of thy sin. We pray, dear Father, this will be the day they will come and confess that sweetest name ever on a moral tongue. And finally, then, gracious Father, when we, your children, has come to the end of life's journey. Dear Lord, when we would have striven and borne the burden in the heat of the day, I just pray when we stand before you, Father, we can find our name written in that Lamb book of life. Yes, and when we stand before you, Lord, we can hear those sweet words, well done, thy good and faithful servant. I have found you to be faithful over a few things. Come on up high now, I'm going to make you rule over many things. This is my prayer. We ask in Jesus Christ's holy and righteous name we pray. 
Let us all say, Amen. 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 Good morning. Let us sing page 71 in our photo, 71. Have it, shall we sing? Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. Humble thyself in the sight of the And he will live you up and he will lift you up humble thyself in the sight of the lord oh humble thyself in the sight of the lord and he will lift you up and he will i know will he lift you up amazing grace how sweet the sound amazing grace how sweet the sound Oh, that saved a wretch like me. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see he. I was blind, but now I see he. Oh, Jesus is the Son of God. Oh, Jesus is the Son of God. And he died to set me free. Oh, and he died. Oh, to set me free. Ha ha ha. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. Oh, you ought to humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. I know that he, he, he will, lift will lift you up. Oh, when you're down, I know he'll lift, he will lift you up. I know and he now he will, will, lift, will lift you up. Let's now sing page 73 in our photo, 73. Let the Spirit of the Lord, let it rise among us. Let the Spirit of the Lord, oh, let it rise among us. Let the praises of our, oh, let it rise among us. Let it rise, oh, 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 oh. Let it rise, let it rise, let it rise. Let the Spirit, let the Spirit of the Oh, let it rise. Come on, let the Spirit of the Oh, let it rise. Oh, let the praises of the Oh, let it rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 blessings, Lord, we need your blessings, oh, power, Lord, we need 
needs your power, let it rise. Let the songs, let the songs, oh, let it rise. Oh, let the songs, oh, let it rise. Oh, let the praises of thy, oh, let it rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. let it rise. Let it. Let it rise, oh, 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 let it rise, let it rise, let it rise. Let the glory, let the glory of the, oh, let it rise. Come on, let the glory of the, oh, let it rise. Among us, let the praises of the, Oh, let it rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, 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 let it rise. Let the songs, let the songs of the, oh, let it rise. Oh, let the songs, oh, let it rise. Oh, let the praises of the, come on, let it rise. Among us, let it rise. Oh, 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 power, Lord, we need your power, oh. Love, Lord, we need your love. Oh, Spirit, Lord, we need your Spirit. Oh, oh, let it rise, let it rise. That's how you like to come in the pulpit. <laughs> Hello, somebody. <laughs> when the Spirit of the Lord, I say when the Spirit of the Lord has rise among us. Oh, let it rise, Russell. Amen. <laughs> to God, I say to God, be the glory. <laughs> in a time, I said in a time like this. Certainly we're thankful to the God of heaven for he has been good. I said he's been good to us. Better to us than we ever could even be to ourselves. Uh, 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 aren't you glad this morning? I said aren't you glad this morning to be in the house? Be in the house of worship on a cold Lord's Day morning. <laughs> Still God is son all by himself. Amen, amen. I love the Lord, Ricky. I, I, I said I love the Lord. Glad he was on my side. Amen. I, 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 I said there's a whole lot of stuff out there that would cause me, amen, not to worship and serve the Lord. But I stopped by to tell somebody what Paul said. He said in the book of Romans chapter number 8, Who shall separate me from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, shall distress, shall persecution, shall famine, or shall nakedness, a pearl of sword. And it is written, for thou art killed all the day long. For we are accounted unto sheep for the slaughter. But nay, in all things, I said in all things, we are more, I said we're more than conquerors through him that loved us. And Brother Joe, I have been persuaded. I said I've been persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principality, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, or any other creature. I said any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God, which is in which is in Christ Jesus. Uh, ain't it good to know that you got a connection with the Lord? 
and ain't nothing that can separate you, amen, from the love of God. Amen. Even as I stand in the world, amen, nothing will separate me from the love of God. Esther would say it like this, if I perish, I just perish. Amen. Y'all all right? I say, are y'all all right this morning? It's good sometimes just to have a few folk call. When we just got a few, we have to have church. Amen. When we got a lot of folks, somebody will sit back. But when it's just a few of us. We'll come on in. Is that all right? Y'all have come on in on this morning. Thank you, song leaders. Brother Story and Brother, uh, Brother Lanier for an excellent job. Amen. Thank you for the powerful reading of the text. And thank you for that heartfelt prayer. Amen. Rendered on our behalf on this morning. Amen. Amen. God is still good. I said he's still good, y'all. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to to be long this morning. I, 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 I you know, there was a saying uh, that I used to say when I was a young preacher. I used to say something like this, Sister Jackson. I ain't gonna be long, but I'm gonna show sure enough be strong. <laughs> I, I used to say that when I was strong. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. Again, good to see everyone this morning. Those that are traveling, we uh, bid you God's traveling grace. Those that are under the weather, we pray God will uh, uh, make you better. Uh, amen. And if those who the cold weather just got them locked in, we pray everything will, will be all right. There's a word from the Lord. Is it all right if we double team this thing today? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you down the road and then story going to take you. Y'all ain't here. Story going to take you on home. Now. But there is a word from the Lord. And as we continue to labor under the theme this year, excellence in Christianity with a focus on doing more in 2024. And as we endeavor, as we find ourselves in pursuit of excellence for the said. In athletics, we applaud it. In academics, we award it. In, 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 in character, we admire it. In craftsmanship, we pay extra for it. In entertainment, we flock to it. In business, we promote it. In death, we eulogize it. In Christianity, we strive for it. I said we strive for it. For the psalmist would say it like this in the 16th Psalm in verse number 3, that God delights in excellence. Ain't it good to know that God uh, wants our very best this morning. He delights in our excellence. If I had time, I said if I had time to unveil the excellence of the Lord. For again, the psalmist that said in the 148th Psalm, and it was verse number 13 when he said, Let them praise the name of the Lord. For the name, for his name alone is excellent. I said his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and the heaven. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent grace. Is that all right? Job, Job, Job would say it like this in Job chapter 37. God thundereth, marvelous with his voice. And great things does he do which, he, which we cannot comprehend. His voice roared and it thundered. But it is the voice of excellence. Ain't his voice is good. It is the voice of excellence. Anybody in here this morning know that God is excellent? Anybody in here ever experienced the excellence of God? Amen, amen. I see it every day. Amen. As I look out over the horizon, I see the excellence of God. When I see the birds flying in the air, Brother Larry, not worrying about what they're going to eat. Hello, somebody. 
where they're going to nest there. I see the excellence of God when I see God make a way for me to lie down at night and get up in the morning. I see his excellence. When he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies, I see his excellence. Is that all right? When he puts my enemies at my footstool, I see his excellence. When he brings me out of the horrible pit, is that all right? And he sits my feet on a solid foundation, I see his excellence. The excellence of God. We sing a song sometimes, my God, he's an awesome God. He reigns. Anybody know that? He reigns from heaven and earth. <laughs> the psalmist said it like this in the eighth psalm. The, and I like this one. And he said, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. How excellent is thy name in all the earth who has set thy glory above the heaven. And out of the mouth of babes and suckling has thou ordained strength because of thine enemy, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. He says, when I consider the heavens and the works of thy finger, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visit him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, this crowned him with glory and honor. And thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hand. And thou hast put all things, amen, under his feet. All sheep and oxen and the beasts of the field, even the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea. And whatsoever passes through the path of the sea. O oh Lord, O oh Lord. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, how excellent is thy name in all, in all the earth. Y'all got time for this? For it is in the Hebrew epistle that we see the excellence of his name. And with him, through the Hebrew writer, we see, sister, story that everything is made better. I said everything is made better. Amen. Ain't it good to know that through God, everything is made better. Through Jesus, amen, everything is made better. Uh, for the Hebrew writer says in Hebrews chapter 1, thank you, Brother Larry, for God, who in sundry times, in, in the before times, had, 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 had spoken to us in the past by the fathers, by the prophets, had in these last days, hello somebody, I spoke to us by his son, whom he had appointed heir, Lord have mercy, of all things. I told you he better, y'all. And he's also made him, amen, among the worlds who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and he upholded all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged, Lord, I'm not sad. Ain't you glad God knew somebody, amen, who could purge us from our sins. Aren't you glad he knows somebody that can be a mediator between us and him? Aren't you glad that he found somebody that could reconcile us back, back to him? Aren't you glad he found somebody faithful enough? Is that all right? Amen. To bring us back unto the Lord by himself Purge our sin. Sit down now at the right hand of the majesty on high. Being made more, so much better than the angels as he had an inheritance. Lord, have mercy. 
obtain a more excellent, I said a more excellent name than they. I, I, I said a more excellent name than they. We see the excellence of his name. And with him, everything is made better. Is that all right? If I had a subject real quickly, it would be a more excellent, a more excellent name. Underline more better. <laughs> is that all right? More better. Amen, amen. Y'all, 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 let me go ahead on and wrap this thing up. For it is in Christ, amen, that we have something better. I said, it's in Christ that we have something better. Amen, amen. Let the record show that according to Hebrews chapter 1 and verse number 4, being made more. Is that all right? So much better. Then the angels have, have obtained an inheritance. Amen. A more excellent name than they. Oh, I wish I had time to take you down through there, but the angels don't have nothing on him. A -a Amen. I, I wish I had time to take you back over to Mel Chesedek and I'll take you back to Abraham when he had an encounter with Mel Chesedek and how he made him a little lower than the angel. But when it came to the point, God said, this is my beloved son. Is that all right? Under, to the angels, he said, who make it his angel spirit and his manifest of flame of fire. But to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies a footstool. The Bible said, but we see Jesus made a little lower than the angel for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. I said he should taste death. Amen. He better. I said he better than the angel. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed. I said the seed of Abraham. For he's better than the angels. Is that all right? He has a more excellent Name than the angel. He better. I said he better. I said he better than Moses. Is that all right? I, 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 I said he better than Moses. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 3, Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly call, consider the apostle and high priest in our affection. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who had built the house had more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man, but he that built all things is God. And Moses, and watch this, and Moses barely was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after, but Christ, but Christ, a son over his own house. And who house? And who house are we? I said he's better than the angels. He's better than Moses. Is that all right? He's a better high priest. After the order of Melchizedek, he's still better than the high priest was in Hebrews chapter 4 and the verse is number 14 but the Bible said seeing then we have a great high priest that is passed into the heaven Jesus the son of God let us hold fast our profession for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities but was in all points tempted as we are yet without sin. So he said, let us
therefore go boldly unto the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and find grace. I said, and find grace in a time of need. He on to say, and so Christ also glorified not himself, but to be made a high priest. But he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today I have begotten thee. Said also in another place, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Let me put the icing on the cake. He said, though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered and being made perfect. I said being made perfect. He became the author of eternal salvation. Is that all right? Not only is he better than the angels, but he's better than Moses. He's better than the high priest. He is a mediator. I say he's the mediator of a better covenant. Y'all, y'all still with me? I say he's the mediator of a better covenant. He said, now the things which we have spoken, for this is the son which we have such a high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, a minister of the sanctuary and of a true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched and not man, for every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices, wherefore it is of a necessity that this man have somewhat else to offer. For if he were on earth, he should not be a priest, seeing that thou art the priest that of the gifts according to the law, who served unto the example of the shadow of heavenly things, as Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle. For see, said he, that make it all things, According to the pattern, I said according to the pattern, showed thee in the mouth. Watch this now. But now, but now, had he obtained a more excellent ministry, how much more is he the mediator of a better covenant, which was established, Lord have mercy, on better promises. Is that all right? Not only is he a mediator of a better covenant, hello, y'all, uh, but he has a more excellent ministry, and he was established upon better, upon better promises. Is that all right? Amen. And in him provides for us a better sacrifice. Is that all right? There was a time, Brother Larry, when it took bulls and goats, amen, that would push sins for a year above. But now we have a more excellent sacrifice. We have a sacrifice. Is that all right? He was a lamb uh, slain before the slaughter. Is that all right? And when he came, the Bible said, spoke he not a mumbling word. He was a better sacrifice. Through his death, he sacrificed once, Lord have mercy, once and for all. Not only is he better than the angels, is that all right? He's a better high priest. He's better than Moses. He has a better covenant. He provides a better sacrifice, and he is the author of a better salvation. Is that all right? He's so much better. Excellence is thy name. In all, in all, in all, in all the earth. Is that all right, child? Is that all right? Story is good to me. I don't know if I can turn it loose. How excellent is thy name. Peter would say in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse number 17, for we receive, talking about in reference to Jesus, we receive honor and glory. To him came such a voice from his excellent glory. Paul would say in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse number 7, for we have this treasure in earthen vessels 
that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Thank God. Thank God for his excellence. Is that all right? His name is above every name. Somewhere the Bible said that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. How excellent. Story come and tell me about his excellence. How excellent is thy name in all. Oh, I wish I had a church in here. In all. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Amen. Brother Ricky Ralph asked me to hook my, my buggy up to the plow for a few minutes after he got through. But boy, he left it warm up here. He left it warm up here. But as our, as our theme shows, and as he just spoke about, about excellent, excellence in Christianity. Excellence. I'm only going to take about five, seven minutes of your time. But I want you to turn with me real quick. In Isaiah, I want to show you another side of excellence. Isaiah, in the chapter 6, the verses 1 through 8. Let me read that quickly. In the year that the king Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With twain, with twain, he covered his face. And with twain, he covered his feet. And with twain, he did fly. And one cried one to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of glory. And the pulse, do y'all hear me? And the pulse of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of unclean people and unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the serpents unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken from the, from, from the thongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this had touched thy lips, and now the iniquity is taken away, and now sin is purged. I'm concluding here in verse 8. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Then said I, Here am I, send me. Here am I, send me. Quickly, with my little buggy, I want to talk about excellence without excuses. Excellence without excuses. Significant events in our lives, mark themselves, whether they are of joy or whether they are of sorrow. We, we remember where we, what we were doing uh, when these events transpired. Some of us, some of us can remember your first kiss. Yeah, you, you, you for some of us anyway, we can remember our first kiss and probably where we were. A lot of us remember where we were when Dr. King was assassinated. Uh, where we were that ill-fated day on one September 11th. Oh, when the towers were attacked. In our lives, we often, we often mark time in this life by certain events. In Isaiah, that I just read, in, in Isaiah 6, 1 and 5, he said, I saw and I seen. And in verse 8, he said, he heard the voice of the Lord. In this text that I just read, it take, he takes his eyes off the worldly king and puts them on the heavenly king. Yeah, the Lord God himself, if we are really here to give God excellence without excuses, we must first see what Isaiah saw. Not the pastor, not the president. Brothers and sisters, there's a difference in your life when you see the Lord in all his presence. There's a difference in your life. Oh, some, some might say, I haven't seen the Lord. I know some might say, I haven't seen him. To that I said, you woke up this morning. He woke you this morning. He put food on your table. He gave you a reasonable portion of health and strength to make your way to his house. Oh, brothers and sisters, to make your way to his house. I will bless the Lord. I will. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. First, you must see for yourself. 
not the relationship of your mother or your father. You got to see it for yourself. Then you must hear. You must hear. And if by chance I, I have some Bible readers in here this morning, if you read God's word, you've heard. You have heard. You have heard. Since, since we're talking about excellence this morning, let me see if I can make that make sense. The moon, the moon in and of itself does not radiate light. What we see is a reflection of the sun, S-U-N. That's what we see when we see the moon. If we are to have excellence, it has to be a reflection of the sun, S-O-N. It got to be the sun, S-O-N. You ever, you ever wonder why we got two eyes, two ears, and one mouth? It's so we can, we can see and hear twice as much as of what we speak, Ricky. You can see twice as much as what we speak or say. You ain't ready to say nothing until you hear something. And too many are trying to say something and haven't heard nothing. Uh, Isaiah said, I heard the voice of the Lord say, whom shall I send? That's what he said. Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Isaiah had to see before he could hear, then hear before he could go. Brothers and sisters, in order to get to a point of excellence, we want to talk about being excellence in Christianity in 2024. In order to get to a point of excellence in God, you got to want and you got to allow him to use you till he use you up. Till he use you up, Russell. You got to. If we ought to have excellence without excuses, we got to see what Isaiah saw. We, we, we got to hear what he heard, then go where he went. And finally, as I take my seat, we got to say what he said. Huh? You got to say what he said. After God's question to Isaiah said, and asked Isaiah that question, he said, here am I. Here am I. I want you to know something, brothers and sisters. There's a big difference between here am I and here I am. You hear me, Russell? There's a difference in saying here am I and here I am. Quickly, when you say here I am, all I'm doing is announcing, Russell. Here I am. A place in time. A place. Rick, you can say, here I am, second row, couple seats in. Here I am. But when I say, when I go to the Lord and I say, here am I. Here am I. It's a point of surrender. You surrender. Here am I. Do with me what you will. That's what we got to do if we want to have excellence in Christianity. We got to say what Isaiah said. Here am I. Do with me what you will, Lord. It is a point of surrender. It's a point of surrender. Excellence in Christianity. Ralph gave us what we needed to see that excellent name and a more better way and a more better purpose. In 2024, we ought to be excellent in Christ Jesus. We got to say to him, here am I. If you're here this morning and you want to be able to say here am I. He makes it simple to hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized and become a part of the body of Christ. Become a part of the body of Christ. Uh, Isaiah laid it out for us best when he said that about yielding. I think that the biggest thing for us is getting outside of ourselves and yearning to God's will. And one of the things about being a part of the family is that if you're here and you find yourself and you've fallen short, Oh, we got benefits. We got big benefits, capital letter benefits. Oh, if you're falling short and you're unsafe distance away from Christ, oh, you can make that thing right by confessing your sin. And we not only will pray with you, we'll pray for you. Man, it don't get no better than that. To know that my family, Sister Tina, will pray for me. That's what it's about. If you're here this morning and you, you find yourself in either, either of those categories and you want to be able to say, here, Am I? That's surrender. Here am I. Come now while together we stand and sing the song of invitation. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in his grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? 
Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments Spotless are they white as snow. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Amen, amen. Excellence in 2024. Excellence in Christianity. Here am I. Say it to the Lord. Here am I. We have one, one precious soul to send. Yes, sir. Father. Heavenly Father, as we again approach your throne of grace, dear Father, we as always come in the humblest manner that we know. Uh, first and foremost, come thanking you for Calvary, uh, what it represents to each and every one of us. Uh, the more better example that was set for us, dear Father. We just come, dear Father, ask forgiveness of our sins and our shortcomings that we might be strengthened. That each and every day we may strive to be better than we were the day before that we might be that sweet, pleasing aroma to you. We come now, dear Father, instead for our sister Tina Smith. Dear Father, I just ask that you might be with her. Uh, she comes in thanksgiving for prayers that were offered, uh, knowing that the power of prayer is beyond anything that we have or know here on this earth. Uh, we come for that Elliot family, dear Father, I ask that you might be with them in, the, in their time of grief, dear Father, that you might comfort them uh, as only you can. Uh, we know and we yield ourselves to your will, and we know that each day, one of us, all of us, dear Father, will have to go that way one day. Let's ask that we might live our lives in a manner that we may hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Be with that family, dear Father. Give them all they need, dear Father. Uh, be with us as a family here at Green Meadow, dear Father, and what we stand in need of. In our efforts to please you and worship you, dear Father, give us the, the insight, give us the desire, Give us the faith to know that indeed you're looking in on us. Bless us and keep us in all that we do. This we ask in the glorious, glorious name of Jesus Christ. Let us all together say amen. Let's church say amen. We thank Brother Thompson and Brother Story for that message that they brought on on today definitely a, a treat to have both of them in the pulpit on today again we just want to say good morning to everyone and we thank you for being here on this uh bitter bitter sunday morning but nevertheless if you have to go to work tomorrow it's going to be bitter tomorrow and more likely if you have to work you'll probably be at work tomorrow so uh, we definitely need to have the that attitude of Mordecai, we, I'm going to be a Christian. Well, it's hot, cold, wet, rainy, whatever the weather is, I'm going to praise God. Uh, I, I tell you, I tell you, I, 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 I'm glad I'm in a business where I have to deal with the worldly people because the worldly people might don't nothing stop them. In, in my business, man, I don't care how cold it is, I don't care how hot it is, I don't care. Sometimes I have to tell them, man, we're not getting out here today on this bad weather. They, it don't care. When, for some entertainment, for some excitement, for some foolishness, it don't stop them. But take that same energy for a Christian to do something good. Uh, we got to do better. We got to do more in 2024, I tell you. We got to do more. You know, we got to do. 
you know, I was thinking about tomorrow. Tomorrow's Dr. MLK Day. They're gonna have a lot of parades and marching and all kind of activities, but because of this weather, now, now I, I can understand if it snows or something tomorrow, but if it's just a cold day, it gonna determine how many people come out march tomorrow, but not me. I'm a king supporter. <laughs> I don't care how cold it gets, I don't care how wet it is, I'm gonna go and so, because I believe if Dr. King and all them can take withstand dogs, fire hydrants, batons, surely I can't let the weather stop me. I can't let it stop me. So if nobody else shows up at Central, I'm gonna be at Central to march in honor Dr. King and his <laughs> on his day. So we, we want to bring that out to the city of Murfreesboro. Again, we thank everybody for coming out. I know there are some that are sick and shut in on the day and the, the cold weather kind of affect them. I, my mom had suffered with arthritis in this cold weather. She already called me this morning and said her bones are just aching. This cold weather is just all in her bones. And it's just amazing to me how, if you think about it, how cold weather affects the body, the bones and stuff. And I was just thinking, if, if, if that pressure affects the bone, guess what? how uh, the torment that the soul is going to have to go uh, uh, face it and, and, and torment the, the spirit of the soul is going to have to go through and torment the, these achy bones going to feel a little better than, than our soul when it go through torment in that place of unrest and it's going to be eternity so that just shows you how serious it is it, it, it just shows you how serious that life here on earth is if we don't get it right down here before it's too late uh, that same pain that we suffer here on earth in our physical body is that same pain and suffering that our soul is going to suffer in eternity. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And no, no cure, no relief, eternity. Uh, again, uh, coming up uh, next Lord's Day, uh, uh, we will have our annual, uh, annual pew packing. Our guest speaker will be Brother John Branch of the Northwest Church of Christ there in Huntsville. Uh, lunch will be served after our morning worship service, uh, morning worship service that starts at 2.15. Also, we would like to welcome our new, uh, new members, uh, well, not new members, but those members who place membership here with us here at the Green Meadow, Sister Barbara Andrews, Sister Barbara Andrews, and Sister Lindsay Jackson to the uh, Green Meadow family. They placed their membership uh, last Sunday, June, January the 7th. Also, we send our c congratulations and best wishes to Trayvon Davis, who, will be, who officially has signed to play football with Kentucky Wesley College. He is the grandson of Brother Russell Smith. Also, this coming Thursday, uh, for our online press service, uh, the word for the night is trouble. Trouble, another good word to look up, uh, trouble. Again, uh, those who may not be familiar with our service, our Sunday school, every Sunday morning at 10 a.m., worship service at 11 a.m. Uh, we are also live stream on Facebook and YouTube. A midweek Bible study on Zoom every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. If you need that link, uh, feel, feel free to call uh, the, the church here or get with one of the members who, who attends here. And also our radio broadcast every other Sunday, uh, WGNS 1450 AM 100.5 and 101.9 FM at 8, m at 8 AM. Our next broadcast will be this coming Lord's Day, January 21st. And also um, we have our online prayer night every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Uh, next month for, uh, for our Thursday night prayer, we'll also be, we'll be celebrating uh, uh, Black History Month. So uh, think of what Thursday you want to sign up and give your uh, history report on Black History for the month of February as we celebrate Black History Month. We also have online giving uh, options PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. Uh, we're just so thankful for those uh, devices, devices 
even in my business, don't too many people carry cash no more. <laughs> but they do have credit cards, PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App. Only thing I don't like about a mic is that most time I had to wait a day or two before I get my money. You know, I, 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 I pay me now. <laughs> if I do the service, I want my money now. I don't like to do invoices, get it, uh, uh, pay me now. I got bills now. I need all that now. So, uh, but every now and then they say, can I cash app you? Well, if you must, but uh, I really, I'm old fashioned, brother. Now give me cash. I like a lot of cash. I'm <laughs> right then and now. Give me my money. <laughs> uh, we do have, uh, uh, have a card. It says, thank you very much. It says, even though you didn't have to do it, you did it anyway, and it was much appreciated. And this is coming from Sister uh, McCoy and the passion of her mother. She just sent the congregation a uh, card to let her know that she was thinking about us for thinking about her in her time of bereavement. Uh, also, we have a, in the back, we have a anniversary card for the Ellis's at the back of the podium, please sign it before you leave today. The Ellis's, uh, they, uh, even though they're not here, we consider them still family. They're, they're still family. They, they just, uh, like our kids who go away off to college or go to the military, they just, they just away from us for a little while, but they still family. <laughs> they still family. Uh, with that being said, Brother Lanier, Brother uh, Ward, anything else for our attention? Big Junior, Little Junior. Big Junior. Okay. 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 Yeah, Big. Yeah, Big. Okay. Okay. All righty. All righty. Again, tomorrow is uh, MLK Day. Hopefully, the weather will. Uh, we won't get as much snow as what they're talking about, and we can go out and, as we always say, it's a day. What it says is it's a even though it's a day off, it's not a day off. What what's the, what's the saying that they always say about that, brothers? A mark about Martin Luther King Day. It's a day. It's a day on, not a day. It's a day. Yeah, I can't even remember. Uh huh. Okay, so it's the press is out sick. Okay. Uh yeah. Okay. Again, you know, like I said, they are expecting some some frigid weather. I think tomorrow is supposed to be about 28, low in the 8, and then Tuesday is supposed to be in 22, low 4. So some very cr uh, frigid weather that we got coming up. Uh, again, always be careful, especially burning. Uh, you, you got uh, wood or kerosene, anything like that. Uh, let, those, let those pipes drip because you, <laughs> you definitely don't want no busted frozen pipes during this time of the year either. So, so just be cautious, uh, be careful. And make sure that you, uh, uh, your electric bill and all that is paid because you definitely don't want to be without no heat during these cold mornings and cold nights. So uh, make sure that you are protected. Uh, remember, there are some that are out, out in these elements. Uh, so again, uh, you know, it seems like we put more emphasis on our pets <laughs> and our plants than we're other people, you know. But there are some people out in these frigid weathers too. So. Let's pray for them as well. If nothing else draws our attention, we continue our service with the uh, offering and the Lord's Supper. Today's scripture for our collection again comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, and I'll begin reading at verse 6, <coughs> and the Bible reads, For this I say, he that soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he that soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Let each man do it according as he purpose in his heart, not grudgingly or from necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we just want to thank you again, dear Lord, for allowing us to see another day. It's not possible for each and every one of us, dear Lord. 
Again, dear Lord, we just thank you for your traveling grace, dear Lord, to come back out to the fold, dear Lord, to learn another portion about you, dear Lord. Dear Lord, we just thank you for this congregation, dear Lord. We thank you for those that are able to give, dear Lord, and those that are not, dear Lord. Help and pray that this collection, dear Lord, uh, that the leaders will give will edify and upgrade your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. As we go to the furthest of the service, the communion, let us sing 311, 311. Have it, shall we sing? Oh, what wondrous love I see freely shown for you and me by the one who did atone and just to show his matchless grace Jesus suffered for the race and in Gethsemane alone singing oh what love matchless love match and oh what love for me was shown and he is forever I will be for the love he gave to me when he suffered all alone. Good afternoon, church. This part I've heard this is the Lord's Supper. I'll be reading from First Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 to, through 29. Do everyone have their cup? For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, that same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, eat this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had set saying, This cup is the New Testament of my blood. This do ye as often ye drink it, it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthy shall be guilty of the body and of the blood and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and eat of this bread that and drink of this cup. For he that eats and drinks unworthy eats and drink damnation to, to him, not discerning the, the Lord's body. Let us all pray. The gracious Father, we thank you. This cup, this bread represents the broken body that you shared for us, Father. This cup represents the blood you shed on Calvary for us, Father. As we eat and drink this, Father, that we may understand and remember for what you have done for us, Lord, all say, Amen. Terry here, he told the three, Terry here, and watch for me. But they heard no bitter moan. For the three disciples slept while my loving Savior wept. And in Gethsemane alone, singing, oh, what love, matchless love, match. And oh, what love, 
For me was shown, for me was shown, and he is forever I will be. For the love he gave to me, he well when he suffered all alone. Nothing else, let us all stand. 653. If the skies above you are gray, you are feeling so blue. And if your cares and birds seem gray all the whole day through, and there's a silver lining that shines in the heaven land. Look by faith and see it, my friend. Trust in his promise. Mrs. Grant, oh, oh, sing and you'll be, be happy, press on to the, you ought to trust in him who, who leads you, he will keep, you ought to let the world know where you belong, look to Jesus and him and pray, lift your voice and praise him in song, Sing and be happy today. Thank you, Brother Mike, Brother Thompson. I'll be making that. Let, let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for sending our bailiff. Dear Lord, dear Lord, give us travel arrangements. Dear Lord, let no harm come to us. Should we go by the destination? Dear Lord, only by your power and grace. Dear Lord, amen. <laughs>